Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's snapshot. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, S&P 500. Its overbought position has normalized and we're going to look how to trade it. But before I do that, please take note of this important information. CFDs are high risk instruments. Please be fully aware of the risks that they pose. Please also, please also know that this is a general market commentary only and does not constitute any advice. And uh, these are our references. I'll keep this up for a moment. Thank you very much. Now let's get into it. Just with regards to the uh, fundamentals that may be driving market uh, today. Well, the signs of the US COVID uh, infections in the US seem to be plateauing. Progress has been made on a vaccine with, Rus with Russia clearing the first vaccine. But we must acknowledge that clinical testing is, has not finished yet. Uh, we do note that uh, core CPI on a month-on-month -month basis came in at 0.6% um, of a forecast of 0.2%. So um, there is certainly some inflation coming through from the demand side. The market is looking for news on fiscal stimulus. However, Mitch McConnell, the Republican Senate leader, did say that no talks uh, have been made since Friday. Uh, that disappointed the market. Let's take a look at this on a... Um, Let's take a look at this on a technical level. Here's the S&P 500. This is the axis that has normalized. So it moved from uh, an overbought, uh, an overbought situation. It's it's normalized. It's gone back below our um, our 80, which we use as our yardstick for overbought. The price is still above its 20-day uh, simple moving average, and the 20-day simple moving average is pointing up. So the fact that the uh, overbought condition has normalized is a positive. Let's just take a look at the hourly chart here. And I think what we want to be looking at in particular is the uh, this reference candle. So this is the lowest low in at least a three candle cluster. So here's candle one, candle two, candle three. Here's the lowest low. And what we want to see is what we want to see is if price can take out the reference candles high and actually close above it. And if it does, that may be suggesting that uh, demand is coming into the S&P 500. Let's just end off with some key takeaways. And um, these are that there are positive uh, positives regarding COVID-19, both on the infection rate and on vaccine news. The S&P 500 has normalized after moving into overbought territory. And uh, the market is now waiting on stimulus news. So any positive stimulus news on, a, on the fiscal uh, package may act as a catalyst for some demand. So keep an eye out for that. I hope that you found this snapshot useful. And if you did, please click on the subscribe button that's below this video. And I'm looking, to, uh, I'm looking forward to speaking with you in the near future. Thank you.